Kagel is my young brother. Josh Bawatsi just moved to free now. Josh, how are you doing? I'm blessed, man. How are you doing? I'm all good. Yeah. Now, how does it feel to get out again and see you keep moving up the ranks and keep getting another one you record? Um, yeah, it feels right. Another, <coughs> right. another, another rounds in the bank. But um, what I'm taking from it is that in the long term it will benefit me. Um, obviously, just practicing with this and um, I could have had an easier fight and box someone that I could chin in the first round, you know what I mean? But um, it went the distance. Um, so when these fights come and they're 12 rounders or whatever, people, I know I can do, go all the way if I have to. How was you feeling by, by the sixth round? Was you still feeling fresh, like you could have continued if you needed to? Yeah, hell yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wish I had another round to deal with a guy because I felt I was kind of closing in. But fair play to him. He got up. Um, he's 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 all right. I'm all right. We've we've gone in and fought, but the respect is still there. The love's still there, and we're both healthy, so it's all good. What did you make of him? What did you make of your opponent? Um, he was all right. Like um, he's got a winning record. Um, I don't have much to say, man. Like the, the team chose someone for me to fight. I said, cool. If this is the man, cool. Let's get it rolling. Mm -hmm. And. Um, he came over and we had a fight, but if I drink, I would have bought him a drink after, but I don't, I don't drink at all, yeah. You've obviously, you know, you've had a lot of expectation on you when you turned over, because yeah. of, as same as you were Olympians who turned over. Yeah. How have you felt that that has impacted maybe the expectation on you to just go straight in with big fights? Um, yeah, people want that to happen, but again, like, people always have their opinion, but I'm leaving my team to make the correct decisions for me. And like I said, in the, in the long term, it will benefit me because I could box I could box a lot easier opponents and just get rid of them in like a round and look fantastic. But again, you can do that, but when you're stepped up, you get found out. So I'm trying to make sure, or my team's trying to make sure that I'm getting the right fights at the right time and learning what I need to learn to progress on. Moving to free now, now. Yeah. what have you made of the transition from amateur to professional? Um, longer rounds, just more hours in the gym, um, tougher guys. It's still boxing at the end of the day, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to master this thing, 100%. Moving forward, are you going to look to get again before the year's out? Or? Yeah, yeah, December 17th on Haven, your rematch, I'll be on that one. And who would you like to fight? What type of opponent would you be looking for? Um, I could call the biggest name out right now, but again, I always leave it to my team to make that decision for me. Um, long as I'm fit, ready, and my training feels I'm progressing on that I need to be where I need to be, then it's happy days for me. I was going to end on like a bit of a funny question, so I'm going to ask everyone. Uh -huh. Have you ever been in public and had a weird or funny situation yeah. where you've been asked for a photo or an autograph? <coughs> in public? Yeah, and someone's asked you for a funny, uh, asked you for a photo or an autograph, but it's been a funny or a weird situation. So uh, for example, Kawi Afoy, he said that uh, he was on the motorway and he was stuck in traffic. Someone got out of his car and banged on his window and asked is for it? a photo. Um, nah, I haven't had an awkward one, I don't think, you know. Not yet. <laughs> But listen, people, if you catch me in an awkward situation, come up, let's get the pics, I can answer it better next time. <laughs> Thanks, That's what I'm going to say, man. Cool, man.